welcome to my studio subscribe and press the bell icon for more such videos hello everyone welcome back to my studio we're back with another video so in this video we'll learn how to integrate google maps with your flutter application so to start so that the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to a google cloud console and here we need to create one project where we'll get the maps api key okay so here just you need to create one project so i'll just create one new project and let's call it maps let's just create a new project and now once the project is created you can just scroll to the bottom and here you need to click on google maps so here okay so let's just select the project so the project is still being created so once it's done just click on it it's done So once it's there, so here you can enable the map SDK for Android. So you just need to click here and just click on enable. So as you can see, our project is ready. Now you need the API. So just click on the API. And here you can basically, or you can just click on the navigation bar. And here you can go to API and services. And here, just click on credentials. So let's create new credentials for the map. So just click on create credentials, click on API key, and you'll get this key. Just save it somewhere. So we'll just let's just save it on the project here for now. Now we need to import the Google Map SDK library for Flutter. So just search for Google Map SDK Flutter. And let's just check. Okay, yeah. Now you just need to import this package to your project. So just copy this and just paste it in your PubSpec YAML file. Now we need to add one more line. So just go to the PubSpec pub dead project again and just scroll to the end. And here, you, as you can see, we need to copy this line to our native code where we'll basically save the key that we got from the Google console. So here just head to your Android native code and go to your manifest file. So inside the manifest file, inside the application, you just need to add this line. And here you can copy the line we got from there. And just paste it here. So this is done. So that, uh, all the stuff that we needed to integrate the maps with our project is done. Now we just need to write the code here. So we'll just use the default code only and make some changes here. So here in the body, let's just replace it with Google Maps. Okay, some issues there. Okay, still indexing. So this is error. So let's just go to the class and check what all parameters are there and what all we need. So here, as you can see, we need to have, we need to give it an initial camera position. So that's uh, the required part of the stuff is all optional. So let's just do that. So for the initial position, uh, we can do it using two ways. So the one way is we can basically give it a constant value or a default value, which we'll do it in this case. Or you can also use the geolocator plugin where you can get the user's current geo coordinates. And using those, you can set that as the initial position. But for this case, we'll just uh, give it a normal value only. So let's just create a camera position variable. And let's just give it the latitude and longitude will so lat long let's just give it minus 3 3 and 150 so some value we're just giving and let's just assign it here so to a google map initial camera position and this thing so once the map is created okay there's an error here let's just check what the error is 
okay there's the error okay one more bracket was there so this is done so now so the second thing is on map created so we can also create a google maps controller which we can use to change the camera or depending on the touch we can just do some kind of animation or move the camera along so that also will use okay this still some error okay uh, this is the this is okay so what now oh, there's no error so let's just do that uh, here let's just click on map created controller let's just get the type of this controller now on map created call back Google map controller and let's just call it controller and let's assign this controller to this one so we have got the controller as well now let's say if you tap on the map and you want the cam camera to move there and you just want to change the position of the camera so you can do that using this thing on tap so in on tap we get the coordinates and we can basically uh, set that the camera okay animate camera and here you have the camera update and here you can see we have new lat long so this we can do and here we can just pass in the coordinates so this will move so let's go to the camera update once and as you can see okay or oh, let's just do it like this camera update dot we have different options like zoom in zoom out so let's say we have the floating action button so on tap let's just zoom out okay controller dot animate camera camera update dot zoom out so this also we can do so a basic camera stuff is done so our basic google maps app is ready so let's just run it once and see how it works and then we'll make some more changes like adding the marker and all stuff so let's just run it once as you can see we just got our error here which says the current process does not have the permission for week log so we'll just go again to our native code and in the manifest file let's just add the permission here so here we can just write uh, users permission and the name of the permission is android dot permission dot week log I'm not sure if it's mentioned in the maps API but you need to add this permission as you can see so let's just close it again and run it once more and this time we'll be able to run it let's just open it here and wait for it to run As you can see the app is up and running and this time we got the maps but as I just went through the library and here I can as you can see there's no way mentioned that we need to import this library or we just need to use this permission but that should have been done but that's okay. So now um, if you tap on anywhere on the map let's just go to India and let's just tap it here as you can see if you tap anywhere on the screen that the camera position moves that's because here we're just getting the new coordinates of wherever you're tapping and we're just animating the camera to move to that position so we can now here we can double tap to zoom in and as you know we set the plus button the floating action button to zoom out if you tap on that one so if you just tap on the plus button as you can see it's zooming out now we can also add markers here uh, so let's just start with the marker now here let's say when we tap so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a list of markers where we can 
save where all we have tapped so let's just call it markers list let's just initialize it once and this is initialize now let's say when we tap uh, so on the, this on tab function itself we can basically add to the markers list a marker okay marker so we need to assign it a position which are the coordinates and one more thing is needed i think the marker id is needed so let's just assign it a marker id so what we'll do is we'll let's say coordinates latitude hyphen long video okay there's some kind of an error okay okay so this needs to be in and this needs to go inside marker id and longitude so that's done so let's just run it again now when we tap on the screen we should be able to see the marker so now let's just tap somewhere so if we tap here, okay, the marker. Was, oh, we haven't assigned the marker to the Google Maps. So let's just do it here. Markers, marker list to set. Let's just run it again. Now the app is running. Let's just tap somewhere. Let's just zoom in. Uh, let's tap it here for some reason it's not showing it so let's just close and start it again now if we tap anywhere on the screen we should be able to see a marker so let's just zoom in once and let's just tap it here and uh, we didn't see any change so let's just check the record once more and let's just add a set state here so let's just sort reload this one and now if you tap anywhere the camera moves as well as we are able to see the remarker so that's all for today if you like this video please do give us a like comment and do share this video with your friends